Hey guys, welcome back to JT Mods. Uh, today we've got a quick video for you, but before we get started, I just want to thank you all for your support here this year in 2020. In January, as I began to build my JT, I got it last December, I thought, hey, why not make a channel, help others where I can, share my experience. If it helps one person, it was worth it. So I uh, hope some of my videos have helped some of you. Again, we're here in December, we're approaching a thousand subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Couldn't have done it without you. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't say thank you to Reckless Off-Road for all your support this year. Um, I know I kind of drifted off at the end of this year. It's been a crazy year for all of us here in 2020, so I look forward to putting more videos together in 2021. Uh, with that being said, today we are going to install a new Rubicon decal back on the hood. So if you remember, when we did the vinyl on the JT, Earlier this year, we removed the Rubicon decals. If you had seen that video, check it out. Um, today, what I decided to do is go back with the custom decal. Had this made by Pixie Decals. So if you're looking to do a custom decal, I highly recommend them. They'll do pretty much anything that you want. Um, but, th but what I did specifically is I had the background of the Rubicon match the tailgate decal that I have that, that's wrapped in vinyl that says Gladiator on the back. And again, we've got a video for that as well, um, but I wanted to coordinate those colors. So today we're gonna put that back on. Um, quick disclaimer, I am not an expert in vinyl or decals, but I think we can get it done. So let's hop to it. All right, first things first, before you get started, make sure you clean the surface really well before you get started. I prefer to use alcohol. Make sure you use a microfiber towel so that you don't have any lint in the area. Let it dry, and then we can get started with the decal. Uh, as you can see, I've already got it taped up. You can kind of place it how you want. What I did is I, I selected the same amount of distance to center it, obviously, on the right and left. And for me, in the points I was measuring from, which is the end of the hood and the crease right before the latch, I left three and a quarter inches on the front and the back. Um, and then what I decided is from the, the bottom of the hood is to go 0.75 or three quarters of an inch up to the bottom of the letter. So we've got it taped, it's level, uh, we're in good shape. Also just wanted to quickly mention, all you really need to do this, some tape, tape measure, a squeegee. I got this off of Amazon, I think it was like five or six bucks, I'll put it in the description. And then again, I used alcohol to clean it. I'm going to install it with the dry method. I know there's a wet method. Um, it's all preference. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put a hinge point here to hinge off of. Um, I'm just gonna go, it doesn't really have to be exact, but I'm gonna use the eye as the hinge point. I'm gonna go ahead and place the tape. Uh, and really all that's gonna do is allow me to come and undo the decal. Go ahead and remove this tape pull it back for something to hinge against, and then start to remove the backing. I did lie, well, you do need one more thing. We are going to need, uh, you can use a blade, scissors, uh, whatever you need to cut the backing off before we go ahead and put the decal on. So I'm gonna pause real quick and grab something to cut that. All right, so we got the backing cut off. Uh, from there, you're simply going to pull it over. Since we've got everything taped in place and we've got the hinge in place, we're going to take our squeegee. We're just going to press the decal on to the Jeep. All right, from there, now that we have that side on, we can actually go ahead and remove the hinge. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the right side of the decal. We're gonna go ahead and pull it up. Now that we should easily be able to remove the backing. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our squeegee, press this side of the decal on. All 
All right, so now that we have it fully on, you really wanna take your time and just press each letter. You can work it down, work it up, side to side. Really what you're trying to do is get any air bubbles that might be in there out. And this is where you wanna spend the majority of your time, obviously outside of your initial setup to make sure that you have it straight and you have all your measurements. Um, you really just wanna take a good amount of time to get your decal pressed in and onto the surface. Um, and then we'll remove the backing and we'll be done. Okay, now that I spent plenty of time really using the squeegee to try to get the air bubbles out, it's time to take off the backing. This is the exciting part. Uh, you just wanna be consistent when you pull this off and watch the letters just to make sure the letters don't come off as you're pulling. Um, but you're really just kinda of pulling at an angle, keeping it tension on it, just pulling away. All right, pretty straightforward. Uh, love the way it turned out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm not gonna waste your time with that. As promised, short video today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the support 2020. If you like some of the videos or you found them helpful this year, please subscribe to the channel, support the channel. Um, if you already have, thank you. Before we go, I do need to thank my buddy Big Matt for letting us take his shop over today for JT Mods. Uh, with that, I want to wish you all and your families happy holidays and happy new year. We'll see you in 2021.